So here's a video, grade 12, of your first design um, on the grid page. Uh, I've started already, just to show you what I've done. So I basically had my rough design, and I started with my circle here, which is my silo. Um, so if you look at my silo, that's my center. That's where I start, and I start kind of in the middle here, the um, my silo, outside circle, which I've drawn here as three blocks, sorry, six blocks. So um, very importantly that the scale is one is to 50, one meter equals two blocks. So this is like a 6.4, but I round it off to six, which means that you need a radius of three blocks, uh, three meters, which is six blocks. So one, two, three, right? So you can count here one, two, three, and I will send this as a picture as well. And then I draw my circle. My inside of my circle has a four millimeter thickness of my wall. I can actually put windows in there as I have it in here as well. And the window has a cut out, right? It lines up. Please try and line it up. Two lines in the center. These are curved windows and a little window on the outside, which we've done before. And then from here, that's my middle aligned here. You will see that I've taken a meter inside. Normally my circle would end there, but I've taken a meter on the inside because I want a straight wall here at, uh, attached to my silo. Uh, and in that wall, I'm going to have a sliding door. So when I start here, it's 10 meters across, right? So 10 meters when I start there, and I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, four five down which makes up my 10 meters and then from here if I draw that in from here I go 14 meters across one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and I draw that there fourteen by ten and I go in by two meters for my veranda so one meter, two meters, and I draw a line there, and then I go one meter in on the side of my veranda, which is one meter, it's two blocks, one meter, and I draw that. So my house is going to be in this space here, and that is my veranda over there. Okay, and then I've got four millimeters inside for my outside walls, and two millimeters for my inside walls. And I have pillars here, either square pillars of two, uh, a four by four, same like the wall, or if I want to have round pillars, I will have little circles here, which is also a radius of four, right? So you either stick with the round or you stick with square. The uh, windows are very, um, um, I, would just, I wouldn't say small, but they would fit in, in two blocks. Right, so you can use a two block um, swing for the windows, uh, sorry for the doors, my apologies for the doors, and my window can be, can you can open it any size that you feel preferably in the center, remember the windows are cut out in the wall and then it has a one millimeter outside window sill and two millimeter and two lines in the middle there. Okay, so you can put your windows and the window sizes would be according to the, the type of room. So the bigger the room, the bigger the window. So these are my bathrooms. And you will see my bathrooms. And you can count here. That's one, two, three, four meters down. I've got a meter passage. And then I've got one, two, one, two, three. Three meters would be my... So you can use this uh, guide, this to set up your drawing and to come up with your own design. You can count here how big the rooms are. One meter, two, three, four meters. Bathroom, one, two. So it's two and a half meters and a two and a half meters. This is an ensuite. So if I put in my 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 uh, doors, right? Remember my doors are going to be, I just didn't finish it now, but my doors are going to be there and then I'm going to take that away. So later on it's going to really look uh, really neat if I just take those things that should not be there away. So open it nicely and that's how you're going to actually
put in your doors. Yeah, uh, my my wall runs like that, and I have that in the middle there because I have put two cupboards there. Um, you might want to put a cupboard in this room over here, so you can use maybe one full block. So, so there is going to be a cupboard that I have there. This room has a cupboard. That room has a cupboard. Um, yeah, you can have. So, just to tell you what my room designations are, and this this is my silo, that's an entertainment area. This is my dining room lounge, open plan with my kitchen, which is number three here. That is a spare bedroom. This is a spare bedroom, bedroom one and two and three, and then that's my main bedroom there, and that's my ensuite to my main bedroom because I only have access through there. Like the opening of a double, a block. Um, and then this is the 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 bathroom that services this these two rooms. Uh, so I'm going to put my bathroom uh, sanitary items in here as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I still need to finish this, um, and I'm going to post it as a picture. And please do color in. You can color in your your walls with red, right? Wherever there's walls, you can color that in, make it nice and presentable. Um, not over the doors. These are two um, sliding doors. It states in the specifications that you you should have access to the silo from your lounge area through a sliding door, and there it is, and from the main bedroom onto your veranda through a sliding door. Sliding door is a double, so you have one meter, two meter sliding door. It's four uh, blocks that you open. Okay, so you can actually walk through your house by means of the door openings and so on. Um, kitchen units, um, you can put kitchen units like that there. Here's my kitchen counter. And then ob obviously I'm going to put a sink in there neatly. I'm just drawing it roughly as it is there. Here's my kitchen sink. My bathroom is probably going to be here. So I can do a, a, a water closet there. That's going to be my water closet, and maybe I want to put this um, water closet um, here as well, against the outside wall. Um, each bathroom should have a water closet, should have a bath, so you can put in maybe a bath over here if you want to. Uh, a bath is two meters, so that's four blocks, so I just want to take that away. Okay, there's my bath, so I can maybe put my bath in there if I want to. There's my bath, and uh, I can put a shower uh, maybe in this corner over here. There's my shower if I want to. That's a meter by meter shower. So that's my shower over there. That's my bath, and my hand wash basin would be over there, and I can mirror image that and wash basin there if I want to. I'm just doing it freehand. It must be freehand, but it must be neater. And then uh, maybe I want to have my bath this side here, one meter, two meter. Uh, maybe do a full-on bath here, in that space here. And then have my shower maybe um, somewhere else inside here. Um, but obviously you need to move this um, window a little bit if you are going to put your shower over there. Alright. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it, it serves for as ventilation as well. If you move it slightly over, maybe you want to put your window over the, over more over to the side here. And then in my my bedrooms um, you can put your 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 beds if you want to. You have cupboards already. Um, if you want to draw a bed a single bed would look like this perhaps, um, it's four blocks, like that there, there's a bed, uh, there's the pillows, and that is just to show you that that there are blankets on the bed. Uh, these are single beds, so you can put them like that there, right, pillows, and you have that there, double bed. Um, you're probably going to have um, 
a double bed which is a square two meters by two meters like that there the other pillows um, and you're going to have just to show that uh, if you you can have also the side tables if you want to put that in as well just to give it some life into the building um, but make sure that you color everything in red uh, the walls specifically only on the walls not through the doors and the windows okay um, then the inside you can actually color green if you want to the floor, floor finish and so on um, and you can add um, a couch here if you want to there's a, a, a couch maybe going like that and make it look real there's my couch um, like that and then my TV I'm gonna have my TV there and then you might want to have a, a circular table here a round table where six people can actually sit around that table um, here you can have a nice semicircle um, couch as well but obviously you're going to draw this with your compass um, and that being the back part of my you can even divide it into parts here and inside this middle here you're going to have your your, your um, fire pit which is going to be like that and then that can be also be colored in in red so you can add all of those details and then lastly um, what you need to do is that um, you need to show your different um, room designation so I labeled one two three and numbers here in the different rooms as well as the veranda and then I'm going to drop a legend here and just write in the silo on there I'm going to put towels, lounge, I'm going to have carpet there, kitchen, what I'm going to have, bathroom, bedroom and so on, what you're going to have there. And then you must work out for me the area and perimeter, area, not the perimeter, the area of the house, length times breadth, 14 meters by 10 meters, 140, and then pi r squared for the circle, uh, formula for the silo, uh, pi being 3.142 times the radius 3.2 times 3.2 which is squared gives you 32.17 meters squared and uh, those two added will give you 172.17 um, alright so uh, that's basically what uh, you need to do and then you can just show me here where the, where the bathrooms are that there's a pipeline coming out here Right, which is a chain line um, from the water closet coming out here and you can just take it right there so that's basically where you can show what's happening uh, when water is being uh, flushed and it runs out okay and uh, you can add some color here to your veranda this could be either wood wooden flooring or it can be cement or whatever you think according to your research you can put on there okay enjoy and then what you do to do um, for your second design you start again here with a silo against the border and you work your way this will be the same the inside will now change that will stay that will stay it's just the minor little inside that will change here according to the sizes of the rooms Come up with two designs, I will post this as a picture so that you can see what happens. Thank you.